Hello and welcome to Beyond the Boundary, powered by Fantasy Akara and nutrition partner, Fast Enough. So in this episode, we have Sophie Devan with us, who shares how she feels New Zealand will be hosting World Cup once again, and her preparation for the World Cup, and much more. So the first question I just wanted to ask that uh, New Zealand played against England and Australia at home in 2021. And also there was a tour to England. So how do you rate team's performance in these series? Oh, look, I think we're pretty disappointing um, in the series with Australia. We realise how strong they are as a side. They're, they're, they're a dominant force in the, in the women's game at the moment. So we were really disappointed with that, that series. But then leading into the tour of the UK, we played England. Uh, although the results probably didn't go our way, I felt that we certainly put up more of a fight and we're competitive in all the games, um, which I think is a really pleasing sign and, and shows good intent that we've been, we're moving in the right direction. I think we've always looked at the bigger picture for us with the World Cup being, I guess, one of the pinnacle events that we're focusing on. So, look, again, it would be nice to win a few more games on the road, but for us, it'll be about, um, yeah, leading in towards this World Cup and making sure we're ready to go. Coming to the next question, your team will face India ahead of World Cup. And they showed their fighting spirit against Australia, like as you said. So how do you look at the challenge of facing India at home again? Yeah, look, I think I certainly watched that series against Australia very closely. And I thought um, it was a great series. I thought, you know, both teams have match winners throughout their side. And, and we know that India is going to be a real threat. I know even though we're playing at home and we might have home ground advantage, that the Indian side have got a number of players that are, that are world class. So... We know that we're going to have to be at our best and I think it's a great opportunity, as I said, that we're leading in towards the World Cup. So making sure that we're getting our tactics and strategy right, our team selection is going to be really important because there's obviously not much of a gap between finishing the India series and going straight into the World Cup. Yeah. So uh, coming to World Cup, we all remember that uh, the last time New Zealand hosted the World Cup, that was in 2000 and New Zealand won also. So how much do you think this home advantage will be important, will play an important role during this World Cup also? Oh, look, I think it will certainly have an advantage. I think the fact that a lot of our players have played at all the grounds that we're going to play at, I think that's a great thing for us in terms of the schedule is that we play in each of the venues across New Zealand. So each ground has its different um, its different strengths and weaknesses. I think a key thing with New Zealand wickets is obviously they can appear to, be, appear to be a bit green and, and spicy for the bowlers, so they might be a bit in it. But I think that's the great thing about playing cricket is the different conditions that you find yourself in. So we're certainly going to rely a lot on, on local players who have played at these grounds a lot lately. So that's going to be a real advantage and as well. I guess it's always nice to be able to spend time in your own country, isn't it? Um, we're obviously really familiar with, with how things operate, so not having to worry too much about that is certainly going to be something that we're going to lean on throughout the the tour, but we also know that it comes with with pressure uh, playing at home in front of our friends and family. So um, it, it's going to be an awesome opportunity for us to play World Cup at home. You have a very pace bowling attack, starting with the speed of Leah Tehu, swing of Jeskers, and options like Molly Penfold in the mix. So will there be any specific plans for various opponents keeping this in mind? Yeah, look, I think that's a great thing that uh, I mentioned earlier about taking the bigger picture the last couple of years into this World Cup as we've probably exposed a lot of different players to the White Friends environment, which means it's given us options moving forward into the World Cup. And that means that we can play different teams against different oppositions and even different grounds that, you know, some wickets might have a little bit more pace in it, so we might go a bit more seam heavy or if there's a bit more turn, we might look at carrying a few more spinners in the side. And I think that's the great thing over the last sort of 12, 24 months as this group has really grown and we're not just, you know, 11 or 12 players, but we've got a squad of 18, 19, 20 that could all play a really pivotal role in the starting 11. So that's certainly something that we've been working on for sort of the last couple of years. So uh, coming to WBBL, you recently won your first WBL title with Perth Scorchers. So how the experience of w winning WBBL as a captain will help you doing the same role for New Zealand going through World Cup? Yeah, look, I think it was certainly a really special campaign for us and to be able to lift the trophy at the end is certainly something that every player wants to do. doesn't matter what the competition is, is to, to be winning trophies. So it's really special for me to be a part of that group. Um, and as you say, um, to be able to take those experiences back to New Zealand and 
in the white ferns environment is something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to. I certainly learned a lot about my time. You talk about pressure and playing at home. You know, we finished top of the table, and I guess there's an expectation that we should have won that competition. So to be able to deliver on that, I think, is really important. And how we handled it as a group, I think, was really important. And it, it did come down a lot to just communication and, and talking a lot about things. So, yeah, look, I'm really excited to get back into the white ferns environment and share my learnings from the past couple of months at the WBBL. You know, mental health these days. So Amelia Ka recently talked about it. Ki, uh, she's not well. She's facing mental health issues. So how important do you think it is to have an open conversations about mental health? Oh, look, I think it's it's huge. And I think it's really important for us as athletes if we've got the platform to be able to speak about it because it's not just a problem that the general public face. Um, we're human beings as well, and, and we're going to go through the same struggles that other people in the public do. So, you know, I was really proud of Neely being able to step away and, and take time for herself and acknowledging and being aware that she needed to take a break from cricket. It's something that I know that she absolutely loves doing. Um, so for her, it's awesome to see her come back into that environment now that she's, she's ready to. So I, I certainly encourage anyone and everyone to talk openly about it, whether that's with your teammates, with your coach, your manager, your family. I think it's so important that we are able to have these conversations and to have them openly and honestly, because, um, you know, it is so important. We've got to remember that, that life can be pretty tough sometimes, and it, it's always easier when you can lean on someone else for support. So hopefully we'll be able to see her in the World Cup squad. So how important her role is going to be as a middle order? batter and a premier spinner of the team? Oh, yeah, look, I think we all know, I guess, the talent that Merely brings to the side. We certainly missed her over in England, but um, I think the great thing with her is that she just is so hungry to want to perform and to help this team win games of cricket, which I think is a great attitude to have. So I know she's been scoring runs for fun back in the domestic cricket scene in New Zealand, which is, is great news for us. And I think for her, it'll be about how we use her best um, to make us, you know, win games of cricket. So the great thing is she's so versatile. She can, you know, bat anywhere in the order. And bowling, obviously, she's a real wicket-taking option for us. So to be able to have someone like her um, in our side is certainly going to be a real weapon. Now, the best of Amazon, uh, best of New Zealand cricket will be on Amazon Prime Video. So how do you think fans will respond to it? Oh, look, I think it's a fantastic opportunity, this partnership with Amazon Prime Video. I think we all know now that the world is changing and how we consume media it's not just you know on the tv at home it's on our cell phones in our hand it's on laptops it's on you know devices all around around the place so i think it's an awesome way to i guess get into more people's viewing time which is really exciting for us we certainly are always sort of screaming out for for more exposure particularly in the women's game so to be in a partnership with with amazon prime video i certainly think that's going to really grow the game yeah we needed it uh, we needed it badly now coming to the last question, what is your favorite sporting documentary on series on Amazon Prime Video? Oh, geez, that's tough. I really do like the All or Nothing series um, that follow obviously all different sort of teams. I'm actually watching the Tottenham Hotspurs one at the moment, um, which is just so, you know, insightful into how different teams operate. Um, obviously, each organization in sports is slightly different how it goes about things, but it certainly is a real eye-opener for me. So, look, there's so many to choose from. I mean, that's only one that I'm watching at the moment, but there's obviously a whole plethora of options there. Yeah, even I'm hoping so. So, thank you. Thank you so much for being with us and all the best for the World Cup. Hope New Zealand will perform well. Awesome. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you so much.